Adobe launches Project Phoenix 3D design tool. At the Adobe Max 2016 keynote on Wednesday, the company had several announcements to make about the future of Creative Cloud. Alongside, it announced updates to Photoshop and Dreamweaver CC, besides bringing its Photoshop Fix, Photoshop Sketch, and CompCC apps to Android. These three apps were already available on iOS, but also received updates for the platform, while the Photoshop Mix and Illustrator Draw apps received updates on both Android and iOS. The company also unveiled Project Felix, its 3D design tool. Starting with Adobe Photoshop Sketch, the app allows users to draw with the help of tools like pencils, pens, markers, erasers, thick acrylic, ink brush etc., and send their artworks as layered files to Photoshop CC. The app, which has just been launched on Android, allows users to add multiple layers of image and drawing, which they can restack, rename, transform and merge, Adobe says in its description on Google Play for App v1.0. On iOS, Photoshop Sketch v4.0 brings support for Photoshop brushes, a new navigator, new document sizes, layer blend modes, the ability to save as PDF or PSD to the Creative Cloud, apart from bug fixes. The second app launched by the company for Android was Adobe Photoshop Fix, which is essentially an app meant for imagery touching and restoration. This app allows users to retouch their photos and make edits using tools such as Smooth, Liquify, Defocus, and Face Aware Liquify. Users can remove the imperfections from their images with the help of these tools. Photoshop Fix 1.0 is available on Google Play. In the meanwhile, Photoshop Fix 1.6 for iOS gets new features like auto scan smoothing, the ability to import from Google Photos, and a new warmth adjustment slider. Adobe Comp CC is a design and wireframe tool that allows users to lay out their ideas using photos, text, shapes, and fonts and then send them to Photoshop CC, Illustrator CC, InDesign CC for finishing. Version 1.0 of the app is now available on Google Play. CompCC is available on iOS as well, and gets a redesigned layout with the v3.0 update.